Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Today, the, the day that you this is being published, is World Card Making Day. Saturday the 2nd of October 2021. However, I am filming this in advance because I'm going to be travelling on that day. So I'm not available to... I would normally have a, an event for card, World Card Making Day, but that's not really possible this year. So I've decided to make some cards for some friends. And I'm going to do basically a one sheet wonder, but I'm going to stamp my own sheet and hopefully make nine cards out of it. So I've got a... A palette here which I don't know it just something that came to me so I've got so saffron highland heather granny apple green and crumb, crumb cake I'm going to stick with these four colors I have chopped myself some layers some ovals with the oval punch for sentiments and some card bases again sticking with that color palette so I've got all that there but first of all, I need to stamp my sheet, which will be the focal point for my cards. So I'm, I planned, I'm going to make nine cards with this sheet. And I've scored it in three that way and then in three that way as well. So I'm going to use gorgeous leaves. And because I want to send them to some friends, I'm going to use this lovely sentiment from Free as a Bird. This is in the annual catalogue. This is in the... Um, winter mini catalogue so yeah so your friendship means the world to me I just think that's a great sentiment so I've already got that up on a block ready to go so I'll pop this out of the way now and then I am going to use the gorgeous sleeves so first of all I'm going to get some texture in the background so I need a big block and I'll pop this on now, I'm probably, I don't know if I'll be in a chattery mood or not today. <laughs> I am just going to try and bash on and see how quickly. So, I'm doing this with So Saffron. I've got a sort of idea in my head that will or will not work. So, I've got the score line, so I'm trying to kind of do three. stripes of so saffron and really just pop in the texture on with this right across the middle of the card oh that's fine because I'm going to stamp over it and then I'm going to come on from the edge here and I'm not doing second generation stamping because of the line that just ends, you just end up with lines. I'm kind of turning it so it's a bit more random. So along the bottom edge there, and then I'm stamping on very vanilla. And these are nice simple cards for World Thank World Thank World Card Making Day. I normally do an event for new stampers and old stampers, but quite a lot. I usually do an event at home and the cards go to the Ronald McDonald charity, the house charity, so that anyone who's using that facility can just help themselves to cards they put them in a basket but because of lockdown I have produced so many cards I've already supply and I've got a big bag ready to go to them so this for World Card Making Day this year I thought I would just make some cards for my friends so I'm going to do something slightly different with the leaves on each of these panels I'm going to start off and do the middle one with this larger leaf and I'm going to do that with granny apple green I'm 
just again trying to keep within the score lines and I'm just randomly popping these granny apple green light I'm just I'm saying random it's not random is it I'm making a pattern already <laughs> but just something quick and easy that a new stamper could do it's a great way to make a batch of cards Do find that so I've tried just not to go over the lines anyway. We might go back in and pop something else in in and around. I don't know at the moment. But then so then I'm going to have a go with this one, a longer one. And does it fit on there? Yes it does. I'm just making this up as I go along and most of you who watch me are used to that. That's my kind of my bag. I just So we've got crumb cake here. So I'm gonna just kind of start roughly in the middle here. Just keeping it simple. And just a wee pattern. As you can see, we pattern forming here. Nothing complicated. <laughs> when you start doing patterns like this, you start concentrating. Kind of quite like that, do you? See, there's not room to do it anymore, so we'll just leave it at that. And I think then in these ones, there's room to just stamp the sentiment straight on. So I'm going to do that and keep these two, these three, just as flat cards. So you can just pop that in the space there. Wherever you find a space. And then this one it'll fit in there just towards the edge. Your friendship means the world to me. I just like that. I do. Right, and then I think this time we'll bring in some more colour this time and we'll use another leaf. So we're kind of playing with them all in this. And I don't know if I want to add in a bit more texture in this one or just leave it alone. Maybe just don't do too much Janice <laughs> you can overdo it I quite like simple but I'm going to bring in the Highland Heather this time I'm going to alternate this with this this leaf as well. Then 
this one. Just making pretty patterns. Just remember your colours. I nearly put that in the wrong one. There we go. And then we have what can we bring in? We've got little tiny leaves here. Oops. I don't know. Well, let's just play. I'll just, you know. I might just pop them more. I'm going to use the granny apple green and put the wee leaves down at the base. Just bake it up as you go along, just whatever you feel. Yeah, I'll just come to you as you work away. It's cool, isn't it? I mean, again, I think I might just. I don't know if there's room for another. No, that would go over the edge. I don't want to go over that edge. Yeah, just let's just pop the sentiments and more flat ones here. Right, so this time we'll do the sentiment with the granny apple green. I'll just give that a clean. Let's see where it's going to fit. Certainly that one will fit there. Those ones will have to have a layered one, but I don't know if I'm going to put... So then I'm going to bring in this dotty one. Sorry, I'm just... Right, so... Is anyone doing something for World Card Making Day? What we'd like is that everyone could make a card and send a card so i think we could all do that i'm certainly going to send these nine that i make just adding some splatter I was going a bit gingerly at first just to make sure I wanted it. <laughs> Again, I'm trying not to go across the line. Well, these three colours are actually, these four colours actually are quite good together. They seem to be quite comfortable in each other's company. Right, so 
I'm done with that. Now, I don't want to add too many more colours in here, but I'm thinking I would like a bit more texture in here as well. Though. So, I'm going to just put it in here with more um, so saffron. Just carry it on up from the this sort of thicker texture that you've got with this one. And just pad paper <laughs> just there we go it just makes more interest in there yeah and then I think we'll just leave it at that I'm going to close the ink up right now I'll need one for doing sentiments for these ones but that's all then we'll chop it up and try and get these I really want to do all nine cards in one film might be a bit longer but so yeah let get my trimmer out and I'm just going to cut it into nine so basically this is just a bit short of 30 centimeters so I've measured just short of 10 centimeters so I'll get and then it's 21 centimetres there, so I've scored at 7 and 14. And basically that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to like, pop that out the way. So, right. So again, just pop that in the trimmer. See, it's just short of 10. And just cut my score like that. Again, just short of the 10. I'll just check that that's yep that's it I should be able to do all three together this time this trimmer is amazing by the way pop that to 14 and that there should give you those oops And then pop that to seven. I'm just going to make sure that that didn't slip there. Make sure that all three are lined up. This trimmer is great, cuts through three layers of card, no problem. So there's my nine stamped pieces that I'm going to share onto my. I should have taken a photo of the thing, but I never, so here we go. So I now have. I won't need, I'll only need three of these and three of these but I will use them for other cards it's good to have these sort of things to hand right, so what colours have I got for layers here, right I've got one two three. I think I want the granny apple green on these the ones that are from the middle that are mostly so saffron and granny apple green. So we'll stick these ones down first. And of course my glue, which was ready earlier, I've not put it back in the wee stand. But it's going to work, so let's go. One... So if you're doing a batch of cards, do prep first, have your card bases and your layers ready and then it really is quite easy then. So just pop these. Because I've cut the layers 
with four millimeters extra all round. Oops, that wasn't so clever though. Overlapping the glue. We'll sort that out though. A wee bit of extra glue on this from the other one, so we'll just wipe that off though. Thing is, once that's dry, I do have a glue eraser, but I'll take what I can first with my microfiber cloth and then when it's dry I'll use my glue eraser and I'll just get that sticky bit going. Right, so these are all going to go on to crumb cake because that's what I've got cut there. So again we'll do we'll go three at a time. One, two, three. So how quick is this year going in October? I don't know, it's just flown by. So I'm recording this more than a week in advance because um, Hubby is running Berlin Marathon and that on Sunday the 26th of September so we will be travelling back on Saturday the 2nd of October. We'll be in the UK but we're travelling up from England um, on the Saturday so because we're flying from England. To Germany, so yeah, right, let's just turn these up and do these three. So, I have, although I'm going to be away, I have filmed quite a bit in advance, I'm getting a bit better at that, so there should have been plenty to keep you entertained. Well, I've been away <laughs> as if you're relying on me for your entertainment but I know a lot of you do like to watch what I get up to so um, yeah so do remember to leave comments and let me know what you are doing for World Card Making Day have you made a card and will you send it next week to someone that's really the challenge make a card send a card so I'm making nine cards and I will send out nine cards. Now, all you guys that are watching are my friends. And what I'm going to do is everyone who leaves a comment on this video, your names will go into a hat and one of you will receive one of these cards. Whoops. I will draw that obviously once I'm home and settled properly. Right, so now we've got card bases. We've just got a variety here. So we'll just use them as they come probably here. Well we keep that I've only got one um, of these ones, so it doesn't want to be one that's got um a green back and it needs to be one that's maybe that one on there. Quite different isn't it now I mean you can then you can do a bit of tone on tone here and you could use some of the texture stamps on your card base I'm just going to do this one with the granny apple green do tone on tone on my background I won't do it on all of them because time wise you'll die of boredom but Sure, that's it, and then we'll just pop this on. Do -do -do. Right, 
One card done. And then we'll have this one. And again, we can have tone on tone. So we can use, is that clean? We use this splatter stamp. I don't know where I put the, the big one. Maybe we'll just do this one. Again, just need it kind of round the edge because you've got that going in the middle. I love tone on tone stamping. It just gives the card base some real good texture. another one similar way. Where did I put the large stamp? Not off or something. Oh dear me, this is the I'm the same every single time, am I? Not? Here it is. It's gone underneath the chamois so i'm going to put that on there and do it this time with the the bigger texture stamp that i used in the background and so saffron so this time This one on. That's three cards done. And we're just mixing and matching our colours. Oops. So I've got oh, well, there are two so saffrons here for these. What have I got? One, two, three here. So that's all right. I did that one right, okay. I'm just quickly doing <laughs> tone on tone here. I need to clean off. I'll clean off this wood effect, it's quite nice. You know, the good thing is I've given every card, every stamp, an earring today. That's nice. Right, and then some glue. So these gorgeous leaves are so, they're gorgeous, aren't they? So, you know, any of these products that you see me using today are available in my online shop. And there will be a link to that in the description box below. However, um, it's jazzled. It's Jazzle Dazzle dot stamping up dot net. Excuse me while my brain just fries here. Another one. So saffron. And at this time we'll just pop it onto a plain card just so you can see the difference. Yeah, I like it on plain as well. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm not meant to slide like that. 
stick stuff. That's that. Now we'll do just make sure these are clean. I'm just going to use the big texture this time. nice flat card won't cost too much to post just write a person it's for a friend so you can write a personal message inside so that's six and we've just got these three left to do so oops come on we'll use the last so saffron one here Oops. And just out of pure, just because I can, let's just stamp on this with the granny apple green onto so saffron. Just to liven this one up. Look like fizzy lime juice. Just shows you difference of different effects that you can get. I always think these stamps are just like fizzy lemonade. Popping away in your glass. So if you're watching this on the replay, please make sure that you have subscribed so that you get to know when I'm coming back on again. As I say, these are easy peasy, simple stamping. Hashtag simple stamping. <laughs> do we want a bit of texture? Maybe, yeah. Maybe we can do two at once. The last two. So this time we'll do will we do the wood effect with crumb cake tone on tone. I'm going to close these other colours up because you know why I'll end up covered. So we're nearly done. Won't take too long. Like crumb cake and I'm going to use crumb cake for the sentiment as well for these three so here we go it goes on quite dark but it dries lighter all our inks they just dry a wee shade lighter one and do this one up and down this time Just the lid of the glue. So there we go, we've got both these ready. So we'll just add glue. Do, 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 do. So you can add it that way. You could do it that way for a change, actually. No, I'm just going to keep them all landscape. <laughs> but you could, because the width is just about the width of the card, so it would work. And then this one. Now I'm 
just looking to see here's my wee glue eraser because this one this is the one that's got just a little bit of sticky there you can buy these in most craft shops that just solved that problem so pop that one two three that need sentiments so here we go one two three and i've lost my sentiment here it is your friendship means the world to me Oh, that's no good, that one. I'll turn that one over. <laughs> I've already done it on that one. Oh, that's okay then, we're sorted. Right, so that's... These clothes, turn them over that way. Pop some glue on. just pop them glue them together the oval punch is the most amazing punch for sentiments for small sentiments that fit on it anyway this, yeah, this is a really great piece of kit for a beginner and for an experienced crafter too just making sure that's tear down and then I just pop a couple of dimensionals on each one You'll find that oval punch in our annual catalogue. Worth its weight in gold. And then I'm just going to put this on the card. The details in these leaf stamps are just beautiful. I love all the texture in them. I will line the insides of the ones so that are darker so that there's they look ready for because oh. see if you leave sticky on the card it picks up grot and then it looks dirty and I don't like a dirty looking card Right, so that's it. Nine cards. Just give me a moment. Yep, there we have. I'm just going to lay them out and let you see. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. No two exactly the same, but nine cards out of one sheet of stamping. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you made it to the end and if you comment below, I will put all your names in a hat and someone will win at least one of these cards. Maybe two. We'll see. Okay, thank you very much everyone. Take care. Enjoy the rest of World Card Making Day.